Hi, and welcome to Red Top TV. Today you're all looking to join us, so I'm just going to be doing it alone. First up, we have competitions. Hello and welcome to the competitions game show. Now let's introduce our contestants. First up, we have Ben and Cash. Hi. This is how it will work. We'll ask you five general knowledge questions, and the person with the most points wins a juicy. Question one. Who invented the light bulb? Was it A, Isaac Newton, B, Leonardo da Vinci, or C, Thomas Edison. Yes! Ooh, man, yeah, paper, scissors, rock. Nah, you can't answer this one, okay? Yes. Nice, okay. Thomas Edison. Correct. Correct. Question two. What was Charles Darwin famous for? A, the world record of eating hamburgers. B, discovering evolution. Or C, inventing the first plane. A! That was B. Discovering evolution. Correct. Okay. Question three. What position in football does David Beckham play? Is it A, striker, B, right midfield, or C, goalkeeper? Oh, yes! Ben again. Right midfield. Correct. Correct. It's two to Ben and one to Cash. In Pokemon, what was Ash's first Pokemon? A, Pikachu, B, Bulbasaur, or C, Charmander? Oh, yes! Uh, and papers is wrong. A Pikachu. <laughs> Correct. 3-1? Yeah. Question 5. What country does Samsung originally come from? Is it A Japan, B Korea, or, A, or C America? Yes. Ben. Is it Korea? Correct. Okay. okay um, we tell you that the scores and the winner is bent. So if you want, if you think you've got what it takes to go on the competition's game show, just put your name and your room number in the blue box, which will soon turn orange. Okay, thanks for that. And now we have Hidden Camera up next.
stuff, which went off without engineering. And I completely forgot what that picture's on. A building at the top. So basically there's a heap load of water that's in clouds and, and water vapour that's just in the sky. It doesn't look like there's any water up there, but there's actually shed loads. Um, and it just floats about in gaseous form. That was shed. Um, so that's clouds and water vapour. And then when that comes out, that's precipitation, basically rain. It comes down either as rain or as snow, which we had a lot of recently, or sleet, or it's a whole load of names for it. So it falls down and then it hits the ground. So you can either get storage in ice and snow, so up on high mountains, all the big glaciers. There's an awful lot of water in those glaciers that stay up there. So that's another form of storage where it can stay. Or it can um, run off, so surface run off just along the, the surface. Or it can go down into the ground. So if you follow the surface from the first surface, when it goes down and then it goes into fresh water, so it goes into all of the rivers and the streams. And then from the streams it goes out and then it goes out into the oceans. And then from the oceans it evaporates up off the oceans and goes back into the sky. So that's one form of the water cycle. The other bit is it can go down and into the ground. There's actually an awful lot of water that's just underground that stays down there. You kind of think of it as being dry and rock and stuff, but there's actually an awful lot of water that's in the rock. There's spaces in rock and generally that space is full of water. So it goes down, so it goes down through the soil, so you get um, the, as you go down through the ground there's, there's lots of different layers. Unity of Street Bridge, which I remember from last year, I didn't know where that was in New Zealand, but it's somewhere in New Zealand. I think it's in the North Island. But that used to be a bridge, but um, not anymore. Got swept out by, by a fairly major flood. And this is fairly major floods in Queenstown. Most of you have probably seen in Queenstown, been to Queenstown. Yeah, there was, in 1999, there was, but that's, that's actually the major shopping bit where everybody walks around and buys lots of stuff. It was flooded water. It's not just the oil to make the plastic. There's actually a load of water that goes into it as well. It's about the water supply that comes out of your tap. Um, so, in... Does anybody recognise these places? Where they've been? Given that the actual location has been blacked out. Yeah, that's right. Open. So this is where, um, basically where your water comes from differs depending on where you actually live and what's the easiest source of water for you to get. So in Auckland, they actually have two sources of, of water. This is, they had a whole heap of reservoirs with quite big dams, and this, this is in 1928, this is taken the same place in 2004, so this is now where the glacier is, whereas before it was right the way down here. So that's an awful lot of water that's gone from freshwater storage, because remember at the start in the water cycle, I said one of the places that we can store fresh water is up in glaciers and the snow and stuff, 